Good afternoon. This is Sarah Honeydew, October 15, 2015, with JNS Biblical Productions. We are at the Martian Space Landing Center in Tuscan, Arizona, welcoming home a hydrologist astronaut with her confirmation of the breaking news of the hidden treasure, liquid water, on the planet Mars. Both have existed in the ancient past and present now. This is an illustration of the parable of the hidden treasure in the Gospel of Matthew 13, 47 to 50. Please welcome Emmeline Aquafimo. Welcome. Uh, Ms. Aquafimo, I know we've heard in September that you folks at NASA confirmed, after many years of exploration, that water does exist on Mars. So does this mean that plant life and drinking water will be available to colonies of astronauts from Earth? <laughs> Not so fast, Miss Honeydew. Um, there is a form of water on Mars, both on the ground and underground, but there are serious problems with it, um, as it has calcium perchlorate in it. And uh, what is calcium perchlorate? I'm glad you asked. I brought some with me. There you go. Okay. It is the salt of perchloric acid. Very bad for humans so oh. don't touch it, <laughs> and can cause cancer. Oh. But it works like the salt on roads and driveways. It will lower the freezing temperature, um, and it keeps the water from freezing on Mars, where the temperature is typically minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, wow. <clears throat> okay. So can you build a desalination plant like they have near oceans on islands on Earth? <laughs> Not so fast again. We have a lot more testing and exploration to do. The next Martian exploration won't be till the year 2020. And if you're expecting drinking water from Mars, we're not there yet either. <clears throat> well, could you show us some photographs of what you have found on the surface of Mars? That is proof of water. <laughs> Gladly. I will show you some photographs. So you'll notice here, this is when we first landed. Yay. <laughs> um, next, this is our latest rover called Curiosity. Oh, yes. Now, here is the interesting part. You'll notice some dark streaks um, in the southern hemisphere near the steep slopes of the crater rims. Uh, we found that these streaks seem to grow downslope during the Martian summer, then fade through the rest of the year. We discovered these were salty water brines flowing downslope, then evaporating. Um, the lines contain hydrous chlorate and the perchlorate salts. Um, these will flow at temperatures of minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. The perchlorate salts keep water liquid at this temperature. Um, the source of the water still remains unknown. Huh, well, this is all very impressive. Um, so can you tell us why we haven't been told this before? Well, the exact source of the water still remains unknown. It is hidden from view. The water seeps to the surface and flows just below the surface. Here are some photographs to illustrate. Um, the ground then collapses and leaves this type of terrain, as you'll see there. Um, the Viking landers suggest that the surface may have been submerged in water in the ancient past. Underground volcanoes may have melted the ice and the water flowed away. This crater, for example, shows actual water erosion. Wow. <laughs> now, I want to ask you, after all these discoveries, can you conclude that there is life on Mars, animal or even vegetable? <laughs> we don't want to answer that yet. The 2001 Mars Odyssey um, said that much of the ground is loaded with ice water. And we can say that Mars has just enough ice below the surface to fill Lake Michigan twice, um, from 55 degrees latitude to the poles. But close to the equator, there is only roughly about 2 to 10 percent water in the soil. Wow, OK, so you can't answer my question. Is there life on Mars? <laughs> Miss Honeydew, water is still a hidden treasure on Mars. And part of your questions may be answered when we send the next landing craft in 2020 to examine the soil. A TESS, a thermal emission spectrometer, may be able to determine the mineral composition of the surface. Well, it seems like getting an exact answer from you scientists is impossible. 
And we'll have to wait until the year 2020 when the next expedition <laughs> finds life forms and brings them back to Earth as well as their drinking water. <sighs> until then, your story explains the parable of the hidden treasure in Matthew 13, 47 to 50. That is why the treasure is hidden and so valuable. Wait, wait, this just oh. arrived on the Space Shuttle Express. Wow. <laughs> Purified Martian mountain water from the Martian water planet. Wow. Huh. Who knew? Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll drink to that tomorrow. Tomorrow's. Tomorrow's. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is Sarah Honeydew for Janus Civil Cool Productions, welcoming in a new era to Mars. To Mars.